In this problem, we're being asked to find the intercepts and the rate of change of a graph. And in this case, it's a graph of a linear function. That just means it's a line. I think the first thing to do in a problem like this is take a look at the graph and see if we can make some sense out of it. On this y-axis, it says amount of water in liters. And on the x-axis, it says time in minutes. And you'll notice at minute zero, we're at 300 liters. And then this line just goes down until we get to minute five, where we're at zero liters. And that makes sense because they're telling us in the problem that this is about draining an aquarium. So the aquarium must hold 300 liters to start with, and then it takes five minutes to drain out all the water. So in a graph like this, what are the intercepts and what's the rate of change? Well, the intercepts are those points where the line crosses the x or the x y axis. So the x axis intercept is right here. That's our x intercept. And here is our y intercept where it touches the y axis. These are important points on a graph because they're usually meaningful. For example, the y axis here, this shows uh, how much water the aquarium holds. So this is at time zero, so this is when it's full. And on the x-axis, this is going to tell you how long it takes to drain the aquarium totally. So this is where the aquarium water is zero, and so the amount of time it takes you is five. So those are important points. They give you lots of information. Now the rate of change is how much this line goes up or down for each unit that it goes over. And our units down here are in minutes. So let's look at how much it changes between minute zero and minute one. At minute zero, it starts out at 300. By minute one, here, it's at 240. So that went down by 60. Let's, let's do it uh, between one and two. So at 240, if it goes down another 60, it should be at 180, ah, and it is. So it looks like it's going down at a steady rate of uh, 60 liters per minute. All right, so let's see if we can answer some questions now about this. A says, at what time does the amount of water in the aquarium reach zero liters? And that's down here at the X intercept. So that's at five minutes. And B says, choose the statement that best describes how the time and amount of water are related and then fill in the blank. So as time increases, the amount of water decreases or increases. And we can see it decreases. And that makes sense. As the time goes up, the amount of water should go down because we're draining the thing. So we're going to choose as time increases, the amount of water decreases. And then it says, at what rate is the amount of water decreasing? And what we found is that every minute it goes down 60. So this is a negative 60. Well, actually, sorry, they're asking what amount it decreases. So we don't need the negative sign on there. It's 60 liters per minute. So that is a little bit of work with the intercepts and the rate of change of the graph of a linear function.